Hello. In this video, we will learn about data arrays, vectors, and some of their economic applications. Now, much of the power of Excel comes from the manipulation of arrays of data. An M cross N array, what mathematicians call as a matrix, is nothing but a rectangle of cells with M rows and N columns of data. Vectors are special cases of arrays. You could have two types of vectors. You could have a row vector or a column vector. A row vector has dimension of 1 cross n, which basically means that this array contains one row and n columns of data. A column vector, on the other hand, has dimension of n cross 1, which means that this array contains n rows and one column of data. Now, there are some economic applications that you could think about when it comes to arithmetic operations using vectors. For instance, economists often compute values of bundles. Now, this could be values related to utilities that you derive from consumption bundle, expenditure, revenue that a firm generates by producing different goods, profits and so forth. So let's take a very simple example where you have a firm that produces Q1 and Q2, which are basically two goods charges a price of P1 and P2 for goods Q1 and Q2 and faces a marginal cost of C1 and C2 respectively. And suppose now this firm produces one unit of Q1 and two units of Q2, charges a price of one rupee per unit of Q1 and Q2 and faces a marginal cost of 0.5 each. In this scenario, the question is, what is the total revenue that this firm earns? What is the firm's profits? So, note that revenue is basically equal to P1 times Q1 plus P2 times Q2. In other words, revenue is a dot product of two vectors P and Q, where Q is equal to Q1 comma Q2 and P is equal to P1 comma P2. Now in Excel, there is an inbuilt function called sum product which basically calculates the dot product of two vectors. So we can alternatively calculate total revenue as equal to sum product Q comma P and we get the same answer as three. Now, if C, C equal to C1 comma C2, is a vector that represents the marginal cost that this firm incurs to produce Q1 and Q2. What is the total profit? This is again easy. The total profit is nothing but revenue minus cost. Now, cost here is nothing but the sum product of C and Q. Therefore, the firm earns a profit of 1.5. Now, notice that if I change Q1 or if I change P1 or if I change P2 and so forth, you will observe that the total revenue that this firm earns and the total profit this firm earns will also change automatically because revenue is nothing but the sum product of two vectors and profits also is just revenue minus cost right so in this video we've learned how to use a simple function called sum product and to calculate profits of a firm in the next video we will learn some other arithmetic operations using vectors and 
we'll show we'll we'll use a graphical approach to show the profits of a firm that's producing a single good and we will eyeball and identify the profit maximizing level of output thank you